Welcome to today's speed paint. Today I'm drawing two of my favorite characters. Theo belonging to me, and Brandy belongs to my best friend Ripley. These characters together are what I consider my all-time favorite OC pairing. I absolutely love their dynamics, and the history behind them, how they meet, all of that. I wanted to tell you a bit about them. My character Theo is trans demi male with the pronouns of they and he. He's very much based on my own experiences with that since I'm the same. Brandy is cis male with he him pronouns. Theo is a human, and Brandy is a D&D tiefling. Theo's in his late 20s, and Brandy's in his early 30s. Back in 2019, Ripley and I wanted to do some text RP. Before that, I had run a D&D game where Brandy was Ripley's player character, and Theo was one of my NPCs. They had some interactions that I enjoyed and thought the two might be cute together. When we were deciding what characters to do a text RP with, I suggested Theo and Brandy might be fun to explore, and for the next 3-4 months we proceeded to write 200,000 words worth of their storyline. That was only a few months in, and I did a word count because I was curious. Since then we've written tons more, I would say millions of words worth. In 2020, my friend Cassie wanted to run a D&D &D campaign and make it into a podcast. Ripley and I mentioned to each other that it would be really fun to finally get to play out how Theo and Brandy interacted in a D&D &D game. Those of you who are familiar with the D&D &D podcast Chosen Ones, that's how that history began. Clearly from the start of the podcast, we had already written how the two characters would have met and how they interacted. We had a very clear idea on their dynamic, and so it was easy to improv for the podcast. I adore how the two characters have grown together within Chosen Ones, but even outside it, Brandy and Theo are just so enjoyable to me. Brandy is a darker brooding and sometimes rageful character. He has a dark past, but he wants to do better. My character Theo helps him with that. Theo is very caring and wants to do all he can to help Brandy grow and change, and even care for himself again. On Theo's end, their relationship teaches him eventually that he doesn't need to be so self-sacrificial, and that he's allowed to do things and make decisions that make him happy, and to live a happy life. They tend to balance each other's self-doubt and comfort each other when they struggle. There are times that they both do too much and put themselves in danger in order to help the other, but they're growing together and learning to take care of themselves as well. The two are practically inseparable, Theo in particular struggling a bit to do things independently, but he's working on that too. They just love each other a lot and their love makes me really happy. I'm so glad I've gotten to experience these two. I hope listening to me gush about them was enjoyable to you as well. If you liked them, I will link to the D&D podcast that they're a part of. I'll also be linking to Ripley, check the description for both. Also, I hope you liked my PNG tuber thing, I made it pretty quickly and I'll probably change it in the future if I do use it again. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day.